One viewer made a request to me. My career is not growing. I suffer from self-doubt, thinking that I know less than my teammates, which is why I am receiving a lower salary. They are better. When I get some good work, I start having doubts about whether I can do it or not. This fear also arises during interviews. I question if I can answer well or not. I am very proficient in my domain. That is the cloud domain. I can solve any problem in this field. Could you please make a video on this topic? Have you ever felt that you are not good enough despite having good experiences and qualification? Do you doubt your capabilities and you fear that you will not be able to perform well at work? Do you consider your past achievements as luck rather than this is what you deserve? If yes, then you are experiencing with self-doubt. A nagging voice in your head which is telling you that you are not good enough, not skilled enough and worse, you fear failure at work. On one hand, you aspire to grow higher in your career and on the other hand, this self-doubt is pulling you down and it is impacting your performance at work. You start to avoid taking risks. You start to doubt about your performance at work. You are filled with anxieties and you appear less confident and indecisive. This is not only impacting professional, but self-doubt is also impacting leaders. I have coached many leaders and I have coached few of them on self-doubt. So watch my video until the end where I am going to share 5 tips which will help you to overcome self-doubt and realize your full potential. And if you have not already liked, shared and subscribed to my channel, which is having more than 150 videos, then please do it. Also watch my other popular video, Silent Career Killer, X equal to X plus 1 syndrome. First, self-distancing, follow it. One of the ways to overcome self-doubt is what psychologists call it as a self-distancing. Whenever you are in a peculiar situation or in a situation where you are filled with self-doubt, start imagining your role model, your peer or your leader whom you admire and think how they are going to handle it if they are in this situation. Why don't you emulate and act accordingly? One of the leaders whom I was coaching was losing respect from his team members because they want him to take a specific stand but whenever he goes in front of his management, he loses courage and agrees to whatever they say and thus he is losing respect. And on the other hand, management thinks that he is not very decisive. He does not have any strong opinion on any of the topic. So he is losing respect from his management side too. After probing further, it is discovered that he was brought up under his strict father whom he never said no. And he started treating all the higher management or higher authority just like the father and that was his difficulty in saying no to them. I asked him to imagine that role model or a peer or a leader whom he admires and how they are going to handle the situation. Slowly, slowly he started to improve. Six months after all the coaching sessions were over, he called me and said that not only he got promoted but he became peer of his manager. Second, self-work, keep it. If you are attending any meeting or any discussion and you are filled with self-doubt, just think what others are going to think about you, what perception they will be forming about you. Just think that if you are attending a meeting and you are finding a person who is vacillating, not having a proper stand on any topic, unsure, uncertain, then you will certainly lower that person's worth. So do you want your self-worth to be seen lower than what it is? You have reached to this stage of your career by applying all your strengths and managing your weaknesses. Then why at times your weaknesses start dominating you and filling you with self-doubt? So why don't you harness your past strength, overcome self-doubt and restore your self-worth? Understand reputation is a person's jewel. So I coach leaders to make them realize what impact is it going to cause on their reputation, image and brand. And I tell them that they should have some positive affirmations whenever they are entering such meetings. That hey, I can do it. I am capable of it. I have done it in the past. Third, self-talk, cap it. One of the reasons behind self-doubt is that you talk too much to yourself. You go very well prepared for a presentation, meeting or a discussion and you passionately present it. And then somebody starts asking questions to you, doubting your data 
or taking the conversation in a different direction and a self-talk started to kick in that hey maybe i should have collected more data maybe the my stand is not correct maybe i should have waited more time and to take more inputs from other maybe i am wrong this is not good for you because your body language starts to convey that you are not confident enough so i coach leaders and tell them that hey you are not going for a monologue it's not a one way presentation try to prepare your mind in a certain way that hey you are going to enjoy an intellectual conversation where you are going to learn more from others and based on that you can modify you can add whatever material you have prepared for that meeting just by capping this self talk and taking all these situations as an intellectual exchange which will enrich you is going to remove your self doubt fourth self critical avoid it perfectionists normally are filled with self doubt they have imagined something and they want the reality to be exactly the same they fail to understand that they have control only on their actions and reactions but they can't control the ecosystem the financial constraint time constraint and the inputs of many others they are not working in isolation but whenever they create any output and it is not perfect in their mind then they are filled with self doubt that how others will perceive it how others will take it they fail to understand that customer and organization want a working solution not a perfect solution so don't be so much self critical to yourself don't push yourself don't beat yourself don't punish yourself and always think that your role is to provide the best working solution under given constraints and fifth self confidence build it as you grow higher in your career you will be interacting with various stakeholders and a lot of professionals and you will start getting a lot of feedback constructive feedbacks are good but many a times leaders and professionals get bogged down by many many type of feedback and they start thinking about all the feedback you should filter them and think yes this is what you are going to use it and implement it this is what you are going to put it as a good to have and this is what you will consider it as a noise because many a times self doubt comes because you start taking noise and good to have feedback also too seriously and thus you start having doubt about yourself so you see a lot of feedback as a positive step because you are growing in your career but you should be intelligent enough to only pick and choose those which you really want to work and improve upon so professionals and leaders you have seen that this self doubt is plaguing the whole workforce in all the organization but by applying these five tips you will be able to overcome it and realize your full career potential i hope you like this video do like share and subscribe to my channel thank you